Hi, welcome to Learn IT with Venkat. This is Dr. Venkatesan. Today's video we are going to see about some of the application layer protocols such as DHCP, HTTP, email, FTP and DNS. These protocols how we can configure it in Cisco Packet Tracer. So go to my topology. So this is the topology which I have taken for this configuration. So this is the server and uh, this is my gateway and some end devices and some layer 2 devices switches ok now go to your server and here I have given the IP address go to desktop 192.168.1.100 and class C 255.255.255 and 192.168.1.1 uh, which is going to be my gateway IP address not yet configured but I am giving here and uh, my DNS 192.168 1.100 the same server is going to act as a DNS server ok and go to your router and enable configure terminal interface FA 0 slash 0 which is your gateway interface connected to your network IP address 192.168.1.1 is your gateway IP address 255.255.255.0 and give no shutdown command and end wr to copy it and first service go to desktop dhcp suppose first i am in need of giving the ip basic ip details to these end devices so first i am going for the dhcp configuration in my server ensure whether the dhcp server uh, service is on or not and here i am going to give it as let it be cisco and default gateway of this network is 192.168.1.1 and DNS server is your server IP 1.100 and the starting IP should be 192.168.1 it starts with 2 why 1.1 already given to router so it starts with 1.2 and class C so 255.255.255.0 then add it so here it add and now check go to your pc1 desktop ip config request for dhcp and check whether you are getting the details yes and go to pc2 desktop ip config dhcp yes and go to your pc3 do the same procedure in all your pcs yes now let me check to Pink my gateway and server from PC1 192.168.1.1 is my gateway. Yes, reachable and uh, pink 192.168.1.100 is my server. Yes, both are now reachable. Let it be like 3, which is my PC. This PC, so from one PC to another PC, all this network are connected. So, DHCP is to provide your basic configuration details so that here we have configured let me go to http http is very simple here by default the service is on and uh, with some web pages here by default if you want to add or edit you can create it here suppose if i want to edit it suppose click this file hello world and uh, here edit here i am going to edit for example body tag and pg color equal to red and uh, this hello should be a h1 which is header 1 and uh, align equal to center that's it so for some editing purpose overwrite yes overwrite then check with your hello world yes it's updated now uh, how i can check it out go to your pc desktop go to your web browser and here type your server ip 192.168.1.100 yes it is accessible and here small page see that color here changed and uh, hello world is become center here okay back so this is how you you can check your HTTP service and go back to your server. Now, DFTP, I have a separate video in my channel. If you want to know, you can check it out. IP version 6, DHCP version 6. Later, I will take it. 
and uh, for dns suppose for dns which is a domain name service which is used to resolve your name which uh, your domain name with the ip address okay for example if you type so if you type www.google.com and click enter first it will check for the ip address because we humans are very uh, good in terms of alphabets but machines are very good in terms of numbers so once you type www.google.com or any url first it has to resolve the ip address of your website so for that uh, where it will check it out where it will resolve it from the dns server okay so for example here i am giving www.cisco.com which is my server here as per i am just assuming this is going to be my cisco server so the server ip i am giving 192.168.1.100 add it and uh, you can create some dummy record also for example google.com and here for example once 172.152.101.25 any ip you could give it or take it from your internet what is ip of your google and you can add it and this is your a stands for address record and c canonical name soa which is start of authority and ns name server record these four details as like dns configuration here you can configure it here i am going to configure only the a record which is your address record okay a stands for address and you could see c means canonical name for host name of your dns server and this is your start of authority you have to give these details and uh, ns for name server next dns tire dns server address so here i am giving this one only so save it now how i can resolve it uh, after adding all these details you have to switch on your dns service then you have to go to any pc command prompt ns lookup is the command give enter and resolve with your website which you have created so www.cisco.com and it will give you the address of your cisco.com which you have created in your dns server www. for example google.com which i created in my dns server so like this you can resolve it for example 192.168.1.100 and uh, exit so here i have given forward lookup your ip uh, you, uh, will be resolved by your server that website name okay through the dns server and followed by that i am going for email so before that you check two protocols smtp simple mail transfer protocol and pop3 protocol services both are post office protocol version 3 both are on and here i am going to create a domain like gmail yahoo mail and um, whatever if you are working in a company you will have your domain right so like that here i have to create my domain name let it be cisco.com and uh, my password is wingert and uh, wingert set and plus plus means add it and another one let it be ccna or let it be admin admin add it so in this cisco.com domain i have created two user accounts one is wengert and uh, admin so now i want to configure these two user account so go to pc1 this pc1 account is going to be wengert account so your uh, your name is wengert and email id is wengert at your domain name which is cisco.com and uh, incoming and outgoing server is going to be my server ip so 192.168.1 point hundred and one ninety two one sixty eight one point hundred and username is wengert password is wengert save it okay and minimize it and go to any other pc same job here i am going to be an admin so admin at cisco.com and uh, the same server one ninety two one point hundred one ninety two one sixty eight one point hundred and admin is my username admin is my password save so from here i am going to compose a mail to wengert at cisco.com subject is hi welcome to cisco 
pocket racer and click the send button and here you will get send success and let me check here go to your pc1 click receive yes i have received a mail from admin so you you can also reply here thanks a lot welcome you to and send it okay and here also you will get a message send success so now go back to your admin account and here receive yes you got a reply from your recipient venget okay like this you can work for email service and go to server service now email is over remaining services i will take it in my next videos and uh, ftp so make your service on and by default it is having a service supporting users cisco cisco if you wish you can create another user also let me venget venget and here you can restrict what are the permissions you wish to give it for this user account this user account can write read delete rename and list the files what are the files means here you have nearly 233 files so these are all the files exist in your server so for accessing these files for this user what are the uh, limits you have to give it you can add it for example i don't want this user to delete this file so you remove this uncheck this uh, uncheck this delete and click add so that user added in your list now go to any pc command prompt ftp is the command and your server ip 192.1.100 so it is asking me a username uh, i have two username here i am going to use my username venget and venget is my password okay and uh, quit you can come out and give the dar command at first in your pc and check what is the file by default is this uh, this pc is having by default this pc is having sample file dot text no other file is in this directory of this pc so i am going to import some file from my ftp server so again ftp my server ip venget and password venget now give dar here as i told you nearly 30 plus files are here suppose this file i am going to get it from my server to my client this pc so here get is the command and uh, right click paste your file so if you use the get command is used to download the file from your server to your client ftp is nothing but you all knowing it ftp is file transfer protocol which is used to download and upload the files and uh, give enter so it will take some time you can fast forward if you wish and it will take time because to transfer this much size of data okay and wait for a second and like that uh, get you can also upload your file later i will tell you how to upload it so once get is finished you will see with the method another method used for upload from the client pc to the server pc so file transfer is in progress So now you can see transfer file complete. So this file downloaded to your PC. Let me check quit and now give DIR. Now you can see that file downloaded to your computer PC. Okay, see in your C drive it downloaded. Now I am going to export my or upload my file, this sample file text to the server. So, if you go to your uh, FTP here, there is no such file here, sample file here. Let me check later. So, here again FTP 192.168.1.100. Venget, Venget. Now, put is the command to upload your file. And uh, now, this is the file. So, right click copy 
and here paste it put so this is a simple small file it's 26 bytes only so now here give dir now you could see sample file from your pc uploaded to your server if you give question mark and give enter so what are all the commands you can use it here will display cd for change directory delete dir get help passive put password that quit and rename okay present working directory pwd means so if i give pwd so ftp is my present working directory okay and quit to come out of this so ftp is finished and iot i have put lot of videos on this iot account creations how to access it and all you could refer that also that's it thank you for watching this video share with your friends and subscribe this channel for getting more updates bye bye